South Sudanese embassy in Zimbabwe joined the rest of South Sudanese around the world, celebrating the fourth independent anniversary in Harare. Representative of Zimbabwe government, the South Sudan embassy in Zimbabwe, and the South Sudanese living in Harare attended the celebration. Speaking during the occasion, South Sudan ambassador to Zimbabwe, Gabriel Guy Riak, appreciated the close political ties between the people of Zimbabwe and the people of South Sudan. The political and bilateral ties between South Sudan and the Republic of Zimbabwe could be backdated to the 1990s, when Zimbabwe and its present leader, as well as its people, became too close to the SPLM, SPLA. And that was the good reason why the SPLA, SPLM had its first political representative here in Harare in the person of Honorable Dr. Barnaba Marial Benjamin. However, the Republic of Zimbabwe also contributed a lot in all forms of assistance, morally, politically, and materially supporting the South Sudanese liberation struggle up to its independence and beyond. Ambassador Joy Bima, a permanent secretary in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, representing the Zimbabwe government, said Zimbabwe will support South Sudan in all ways possible. He further said they follow closely all development in South Sudan and he is convinced that permanent solution for South Sudan will be brought by South Sudanese themselves. We are aware that you are facing you know, great challenges, but at the same time, we are confident that you will resolve those problems in a peaceful manner. We believe, Your Excellency, that it is only the people of South Sudan who, on their own, will be able to work out their own future. And we are hopeful that we will soon have a peaceful solution to the challenges in southern Sudan. The South Sudanese living in Harare pled to the people of South Sudan to forgive and forget the problem for the sake of the young generation. Let us unite together so that we can have peace in our land, so that we can stay in peace and harmony. I'm so happy about this day because since it's our fourth independence, we've come a very long way and I'm just so excited and so happy. My message back home is to urge our leaders to give us the peace we want as youth so that they can enable us to also build the nation in the later days that are coming. Because this generation is the one that is going to bring the peace and is going to build the nation. So I urge peace in our country. I'm hugging all our top leaders to be committed in peace because whatever conflict it is, always people should come and should compromise and should be and should forgive themselves. Getting to recognize you here uh, today, I want to just recognize the South Sudanese living in Zimbabwe hope that this would be the last independent celebration amid conflict, violence and suffering. For the nights, I am Simon Bingo in Arare, in Zimbabwe.